<clears throat> all right so i'm going to show you just what i mean by uh the whole process um of kind of getting an, a link unstuck here uh, in a very quick sort of off the cuff way so assuming this one isn't stuck but let's just pretend that this one is stuck and it won't unreleased you know won't release so what you do is it's usually easiest if you actually have a ball top up here because then you can palm it but essentially what you do is you engage it so that it's unlocked and then what you usually do is you take something um like uh anything hard you can use the edge of a table which is usually what i do and i'll just unlock it and i'll just tap it and kind of rotate it as i'm doing it and again this isn't the best example because um, this is already unlocked, but that's basically what you do is you take it and you tap it, sort of rotating it. And the idea here is that these little ball bearings, um, what they'll do is they're essentially stuck into the little groove here. And what that's going to do is sort of vibrate them back into an idle position. And then once it's released, um, what you can do then is you take um, some rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip and you clean out this whole taper area, including inside the groove and make sure it's nice and clean. Um, and then you do the same for inside of here. Just rub it all in here um, and try and get all the dust and dust and grime and whatnot. Um, usually when they rub against each other, uh, it ends up generating friction dust. So that's what that ends up being and can kind of uh, add extra grip, um, which is unwanted. So if you clean that out, it'll help it out. And then the final thing you can do is take a little bit of um, Shinetsu or similar, and I may actually have some here. Uh, yes, I do. I have some from Focus Attack. Ah, this little guy from Focus Attack is all you really need if you don't have any. It's just uh, basically it's joystick crease. You don't use WD-40 or anything like that. And then you take that and you rub that inside of the groove here. Um, not like a ton. You don't need a ridiculous amount, just enough to kind of give it a layer. And what that'll help do is it'll help the ball bearings sort of slide back out when you don't want them engaged. Um, and that should help bring it back to speed. And the most important part is getting it disconnected. And if you go through these steps and it still, um, after a time, uh, sort of freezes again, um, and you just, it, it, you have to keep doing this over and over again, just let me know. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll just send you a bunch of new bases. Um, because what's really happening is that the ball bearings are digging into this and kind of creating a pocket or a groove, which is why it ends up eventually sticking over time. It's rare, but it does happen. Um, and so these are the, this is like the first bit of troubleshooting. And the second is just, I send you a, a couple new bases to get you up and running and I don't charge anything for that. I just need a shipping address. All right. Well, I hope that helps and kind of shed some light on it. Um, if you have any other questions, just let me know. All right. Thanks, man. Bye.